Project Archiver is a new script aimed at making your project smaller without sacrificing usability. After minimizing the audio files, fades, stretch markers, markers, item envelopes, item play rates, etc. will be kept. And if you used the same part of a media item in multiple places, it will not create duplicate files. It does some pretty impressive minimization. So original folder size, 78.83 gigabytes, minimized files, 61.3, Deleted, 5.19. New size, 12.34 gigabytes. Huge difference in file size after archiving. That's getting rid of unused files, converting to FLAC. And the other thing is trimming out the unused parts of the audio. Reaper does have a function, kind of, in here when you go to Save As. There's Copy All Media in Project. And then if you enable this button here, let's say FLAC and then trim media size. This will have a tail of 300 mill milliseconds. This is something that I have never used and really have probably never even seen it until earlier this week. Someone on the forum in this thread mentioned that function. They didn't realize, the, the creator of this script didn't realize that that was there, but this still solves other problems. It, it does the unused stuff better and it, it kind of collects everything, video files, everything, so. That is very cool. Let's uh, let me just open up a real mix project that I did. So to download and install this script, you need to go to this link here, uh, which is the GitHub raw link for the repack repository. So you're going to copy that text and then go into your extensions menu, repack, import a repository, and paste that in there. Once you synchronize and install it, you've got this Oded projectarchiver.lua. I'm going to run. And so this will allow us to choose various settings that will compact this project. Remove unused takes? Yes. Rem minimize audio files? Yes. How is it going to do that? Using padding of one second? Sure. Only minimize those file types, uncompressed and lossless, or any are the options there. Let's do, let's minimize any of the lossless files to 24-bit FLAC collect external files. We can copy them from the original location or move from the original location. Let's do a copy. If there's video files, it will do that. And if there's resampleMatic 5000 files, it will also do that. So let's see what happens. Backup destination folder must be empty. Oh, I see. Okay, so, so just add in a new folder called like archive or something and then create backup. All right, so the initial copy and move and, and stuff seems pretty fast. Let's have a look at what's actually happening in the, the, the folder. Looks like a copy of the project file has been made. And it's just creating the FLAC files. So it's happening in the audio files folder. There's FLAC files for the minimized files. It's going pretty fast on this computer. And back to Reaper. So the original media folder size was 1.94 gigabytes. Minimized files, 999 megabytes. New size, 362 megabytes. Total saving of 1.57 gigabytes. That's significant. Does anyone here use FLAC from day to day in Reaper? I don't. There, there is a CPU penalty for using FLAC because it has to be decoded before playback basically unpacking it on the fly to wave. So I don't, but I have seen some sound designers um, work that way, possibly only when they're um, they're traveling or something like that. But yeah, you, you definitely could do that. So it looks like um, some of the files, it's pretty much all the entire file being used, except for like the end where it was just silence. And then the the toms, it's only used a very small portion of those files. Some of the files here, like this electric piano, was only used three quarters of the way through the file or through the project. Let's find where that is. That's that's these files right here. These pianos are silent the entire rest of the song, so it's it's basically cropped those files and turned them from sixty eight megabytes to three point eight six megabytes. Pretty cool that it that it can do this. Um, the toms are only used for 7% of the song. If you have a lot of projects, they're taking up a lot of space, 
and you want to finally archive them, I think this is a fantastic way of actually doing this. So here's the um, here's the archive folder. This is what it looks like. I've got my project file, and then inside there's all the FLAC files, and you can recreate this session from those FLAC files. If you don't know, FLAC is another lossless compression. It's kind of like zipping each file. It makes it smaller. It doesn't throw away any data. It just re-encodes it in a, in a lossless way. Unlike MP3, which would throw away audio quality. So very, very cool. Um, highly recommend this. This is a new script, but useful. Um, I'll put a link in the chat right now to the forum post where you can get all the details, and if you find any bugs or anything, report them there.